Hello there fellow summoners, Mad Dog HT here, and we're going to go into the last path um, in 7.4.4. Um, I'm recording this after the fact. Um, wasn't able to record this um, while I was going through it. Oh, I actually have two more paths. So this is my fifth path, but this one has Moth to the Flame. So basically you attack and you get this little uh, moth to the, this fervor charge, little eyeball looking icon thing, it's an orange one. And if you launch a special, it consumes 10 of those. And um, if you get down to zero, you'll take big damage. Um, so you wanna keep that up. And then it's got Matador, you only gain a bar of power when they throw a special power build, uh, yeah, power build up where when they get to two bars, they'll start gaining prowess, um, and then they're aggressive, uh, aggressive node, which is kind of nice. But I think on this, it seemed like they weren't all that aggressive. Um, we're gonna use Magneto for a good chunk of this lane, simply because there's some metal champs on there and Magneto wrecks metal champs. Now, the one thing that I was concerned and worried about, which did come into play, um, particularly on this Hulkbuster, and the Green Goblin, I can't, I can't remember if there's one more Magneto fight, but the ability accuracy reduction that Magneto puts from the magnetism on Metal Champs, um, it does, um, whatchamacallit, it does prevent Matador from getting your power every time. So like right there, he just launched a special one. Normally other champs, they would um, get a bar of power, but the magnetism prevented that, which kind of stinks. So you're gonna see Hulkbuster throwing um, a lot of specials here, and I'm not getting any power bar, um, but at some point in time, he will. And we're basically just gonna try to build up our prowess, and um, when we do get to three bars, we're just gonna light it up and hopefully take him out. I think I do end up throwing um, a special three with a, a chunk of prowess, but it doesn't end up killing him with the shrapnels. I eat a special one. The nice thing about Magneto, mine's max six, so damage reduction, but on this Hulkbuster, he's putting shocks and armor breaks on you. Um, and there you can see, I, I ended up getting degen because I ran out of those fervor charges. So I was like, hmm, that was interesting. So I'm gonna start doing more basic attacks to build those up to make sure that I have plenty of them. Um, but I will end this fight with a lot of health just because of the armor break and the shock um, willpower healing. So yeah, we got 14 prowess right now and we, we got, we're up to two bars. We just need to get one more um, bar from a special attack. We didn't get it there. So you do need a little bit of patience, a little bit of luck um, because you just never know when you're gonna get that that bar of power when they throw a special. Now, I mean technically you could get it on the first three um, and you probably could, I mean I haven't been counting, maybe I should go back and count, maybe I'll do that and see how many specials he threw to get to three bars. Um, but yeah, we're, we're just patiently waiting. All right, there we go. So now it's time to build up and see, I, I think I had 38 prowess on that. Let me check that. Yeah, it was 38 prowess and I probably could have got another chunk if I would have, um, refreshed. So we got, we only got 12 bleeds coming out of that, which, you know, Magneto's, or not Magneto's, Hulkbuster's ability accuracy reduction with his armor ups prevented a bunch of those bleeds from getting applied. So, yeah, I'm like, okay, we only got halfway through. We're back to full health. Oh, we got hit. <laughs> I think we're gonna, get, we're gonna get back to full health. Just the healing on this from willpower is pretty awesome. And yeah, I have plenty of those fervor charges now. So I shouldn't get, de I shouldn't have to worry about getting degen um, again. And we're just gonna wait to, get a bar of power. So this is definitely not fast, um, but it, it does work. Um, and I feel like it's pretty safe to do. Um, a lot of health on this Hulkbuster. And 
we got one bar of power from that last special. Got some prowess built up. Or building up. Didn't get it there. And Hulkbuster special one. It's easy to heavy counter, which is nice. And you know, we are getting we are getting, you know, decent damage off of those heavies. 4400 and then another you know 2000 or so thousand I guess it depends on the armor and his um, ability accuracy reduction there we got two bars now 13 prowess 14 no, we didn't get a prowess on that we didn't get a prowess on that I think that's um his armor ups that are preventing the ability accuracy on those heavies all right we're charging it hoping that we're going to get it on this next special and I think we might get pretty close I think actually we get up to like 50 up to 50 something before we get to a special three I'm wondering if, if I even just throw a special two I can't remember we're about to find out nope there's I think I think we end up getting to 54 prowess if my memory holds well there's 53 yeah there's 54 all right there we go 55 55 prowess and this ends up just killing them so that was a pretty long fight i mean i'll be honest it's a long fight but uh it was very very simple and we got her done so we're gonna move on. 141 hits. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of hits for Magneto on a Metal Champ. All right. So next up, we got Airwalker. Um, I'm gonna actually use. I could use Doom. Um, I was considering to use Doom because um, I was, but because I was gonna use potentially use him on the boss. Um, I decided to just go on the thing. Thing is armor break immune. So we're not. We we can get the Dark Tide passives. Um, so they're going to be Dark Tide debuffs, and when he gets when he gets to ten, um, it'll become a passive. But we don't get damage from that because it's the Dark Tide plus the Armor Break together that gets that stupid damage that you would take back from Airwalker. So Thing is actually a pretty solid champ to counter Airwalker. Um, now we're going to back off. Hope that he throws his special two supposed to be aggressive let's see it I was pretty worried about this guy getting a special three and he does end up throwing it like right right before he right before he gets to three bars um, so now we got that dark type passive the dark type passive it like reduces your block proficiency yeah actually pause it yeah reduces block proficiency during special attacks and deals damage if suffering from an armor break yeah so you know a little bit less block proficiency on the special, no big deal. Um, we're just gonna smash this dude out. This is my rank four thing, doing, doing, doing his business, smashing. Um, I think we're gonna get to 20 rock stacks here after we push him to special two, and then throw our special three. So we come out fully unstoppable and unblockable. I think. No. Um, I know I'm going to throw a special three somewhere in here. Maybe it's after this one. I do have enough fervor charges because I haven't been throwing the specials. Again, a special costs um, 10 fervor charges. So you got to make sure that you have plenty of those. Yeah, here we go. So we're going to hit him 20, 20 rock stacks, special three. We're going to come out. He's going to be stunned so we can just go wailing right into him. Um, we're gonna be fully unstoppable, unblockable. We get the we get the fury from the special three, and it's gonna do some pretty solid damage. Got to bait out another special. But uh, yeah, thing thing is a option to use against an airwalker if you haven't considered that. Normally, I would use Doom. Um, I use Doom in like. AQ, map 8 for the airwalker that's on like the shock lane. 
does really well, actually heals him up. He's able to manage the the dark tides because you you can drop them when you get like nullifies and whatnot. So here we're gonna get to another special three. I think we're gonna bait a special one and then we're gonna hit him with a special three. We got the 60 Furies. Boom, and then we're gonna come out and we're just gonna go wailing and I think we end up having enough damage to finish him off. But yeah, thing works, Doom works, champs that can't be armor broke, you know, Colossus could work, because he can't be armor broke um, by anyone but a tech champ. Yeah, so your armor breaking means are, are solid options against Airwalker. All right, we're going to go up against this Green Goblin um, with Magneto. And so same thing, but I think the RNG on this one, it was a little bit better as far as how many specials were needed to be thrown to get the power. Um, so, you know, this time I want to learn my lesson from the first fight and I'm going to get just regular attacks in um, to build up those fervor charges. You can see that they're slowly deteriorating. deteriorating um, if you don't build them up. And again, we need to have to at least 10, or more more than 10, um, because it uses 10 on the special, and if you're at zero, then that's when you take degen damage. So, um, so we've already gotten two bars of power, which is nice. Uh, we just now we just need to get a third, and then double up all the prowess, and just go to town on this guy. Um, Gotta bait out this special two. There we go. And then we gotta get our hits in. So normally I'll try to do like, if I'm not trying to double, I'll just do a parry one hit into the medium for most damage and power gain on my side. But granted, there's no power gain on this on this note because of the Matador. All right, there we go. Now we got three bars of power. We're gonna start doubling up. We got 19, we got 38. We're gonna block this, get him at low power and double up again. That bumps us up to 41. And then this is gonna, this is gonna do some really solid damage. All right, he's at 58%, he's got 28 bleeds. Gonna make sure we have enough fervor and then boom got a big detonation but it did, didn't quite do him under i think we're gonna just get off a few more heavies and whatnot and he's gonna go down so yeah magneto makes this fight pretty simple um, i felt like the number of specials thrown um, was a lot less compared to the whole buster fight but so that went pretty well that how many hits was that uh, that was too quick too quick that's all right and then next up we got jubilee um, and i'm going to go in with this one with nimrod of course <coughs> nimrod uh destroys pretty much every single mutant that there is um bishop a little bit harder to deal with manage his damage and whatnot but um yeah so we're gonna just and jubilee gets a lot of prowess so once we're in the orange um, blitz mode we're going to start uh, removing those and turning those into shocks which is really nice all right there's one bar of power we're in orange we just totally removed we're removing all those um prowess now we're at two bars and we're going to throw a special two goes into eradicate and look at that that took about almost a half half of her health or pretty close to it and i think we're going to try some heavy spam over here in the corner he his heavy does kind of consistently push him back a little bit more a little bit more um so you can't spam indefinitely but uh it's pretty fun it has a decent reach to it and then we just need to get her to throw one more special so there was three in a row that was pretty fun and once she throws another one, and granted, when you're in um, Titan, 
the orange, you get that power drain. So it kind of makes it a little bit harder for the matador to, to, to benefit you because she's not having the the power to throw another special to give you a bar, but she goes down pretty easily. Now we have this um, Icarus, and I was I had originally thought I should use Doom, but um, I changed my mind, and I'm going to go in with Symbiote Supreme. So Symbiote Supreme's passive power gain, um, I believe, on this isn't affected or maybe it is I can't remember but this guy's gonna be throwing a lot of specials we're gonna get the staggers up I can't remember do we get the passive no we don't I thought I thought maybe we did but that's all right so he's gonna be getting a lot of those energize um, buffs but we're gonna be putting staggers on and nullifying um, and getting damage from those and it's gonna keep up our genetic um, potential um, and you can see there, wasn't really paying attention. I just, why did I, I'm not even certain why I threw that special one. But um, we didn't have enough fervor charges. So um, we, we took a little bit of degen. Um, or maybe I, maybe I took it, maybe I threw the special to, to try to get that uh, blast charge off. I think that's what it was. And so I just decided I'm just going to ignore it. Um, I think Mystics are supposed to not take damage, but there you can see that I did. Um, so now we're just going to try to bait out this guy's special one and throw our special three with... Well, we should have waited because we didn't have any um, uh, genetic potential. Um, I'm pretty sure we didn't have any. Oh, we got a hundred now, so now every hit's gonna be doing bleeds, and I think we're gonna, he's gonna throw one more special, and then we're gonna finish him off here with it. Oh, I think I thought we were trying to go in for a special two, but we we ran right into his special one. But very little damage taken. We got some willpower healing from his little delayed blast debuff thing. Yeah, Sorcerer Supreme did really well. Not Sorcerer, Symbiote Supreme did really well there. We got a mag white Magneto, House of X. We're gonna use Nimrod. Basically, same same kind of thing. We're gonna just bait a couple specials and then nuke this guy down with a special two. We do need to make sure that we have enough fervor charges. Um, and yeah, probably ideally, if you were to bait this guy's specials, you would want to make sure that you're in blue titan because you want to, him to get the cowardice so that he doesn't get the power drains because if he gets the power drains then it's going to have a harder time getting to another special so there we get the power drain because we were in bl orange blitz we throw ours we go into eradicate so now if he throws another special he's going to get both um, power drain and cowardice um, you can see whether we're going to eradicate or blitz, whenever he gets a prowess, we can remove it, put some shock damage on him. And then you can see here, so we're trying to get him to another special, being aggressive. But he keeps getting power drained, but I think he's going to throw one right here. And then we got a special two ready for him. Eradicate, drop back in there, passive shocks just do some awesome damage i love that love that damage so we we got through the path no deaths no items minus these uh refills um and we're gonna go up on the boss section and go to annihilus um, we're gonna go in and drop i think we drop nimrod and we're gonna swap in white magneto just so that we can get the passive stuns on the on Annihilus. Um, otherwise he'll he'll be quite annoying with his unstoppable and putting on you know the whatever the little hand icon things are called. I'll can't remember those at the moment. We'll see that in a second. The stifles. Um you can't armor break us because we're armor break immune. Thing is thing is a, is a really solid option to, to fight against Annihilus. And actually, I actually fought against an Annihilus 
was it last last war war number 10 of the season 32 um he was on the conflictor node and i used thing and he just totally wrecked him so easily um with a white magneto pre-fight because you get the guaranteed stuns to land um we do get some of the stifles on us but this has parry vulnerability immovable object odometer so the odometer that was one that i wasn't really certain like how it was working the first time i didn't have it um really well understood um but basically you want to be very aggressive and if you knock them down you're going to reset your odometer um charges back down to zero and when you're under a hundred you do less damage when you're over 100 you start doing more damage when you're at 200 you're you do max damage so you're going to see that i actually don't end up throwing any specials i think except maybe to finish him off towards the end um, and that's going to put the odometer up to 200 he's going to be fully unblockable at that point when he's above 100 but we do have plenty of uh, those blue steadfast charges that we're going to build up um and that's going to allow us to block um the unblockable so you can see i did start with a dark tide passive that's from airwalker um all right here we go he is unblockable i need him to throw the special two we have steadfast charges we have one and we do take we do take uh, some hits but you know, we do have those stifles that are going to give us some healing. So we did take some damage there, but I think for the rest of the fight, it's going to be pretty clean, I believe. Um, we're going to try to bait the special ones. Oh, I did get tagged right there. Um, bait the special ones and then just hammer away. So you get you get those immovable object uh, steadfast charges with a five every five hits. So you can parry and then get a five hit combo and the parry is going to consume one of those charges but then you're just going to get it back. So and then if you can bait a special in between you know one, one to two of those combos you can build up two steadfasts and yeah. So every once in a while when you do parry I'm still getting the stifle um, so I do have to keep that in mind but that's pretty much just going to give me willpower healing. When you, when you back up it's going to give a Nihilus a um, unstoppable um, thing can actually nullify his rod and the unstoppables um, via his special attacks he activates that little blue unstoppable nullification ability um, I don't use it in this fight um, but it definitely is an option because I, I don't want to be knocking him down so I notice that I'm doing decent damage um, but when I used uh, like She-Hulk and Sorcerer Supreme on the first round, you know, I was spamming specials. My odometer was lo low and the damage was a little bit lower. Um, but you can see like I'm landing crits with like yeah, 13, 8, 8K, 8K lights, 13K mediums. So yeah, you're doing, you're doing some pretty decent damage um, when it crits. But if I was at low odometer, and you get there by knocking him down with a heavy or a special attack, um, you would you wouldn't be hitting as hard. Um, so we're we're in assassin's range now. Just gotta bait out a few more specials, and then I'm gonna smash him with a special three. Um, and he's gonna go down. I think this will KO him. Or actually, I think does he end up with one percent? He might end up with 1% and I just go in and with a tap. Yeah, 1%. 1%. But there we go. 15k crit to end it. Um, yeah, so thing works. The path, pretty easy. No items. It's pretty happy with this one. Um, hopefully this helps uh, give you a few ideas of what you can do. Appreciate you guys watching. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.